as you can see, I'm not Christina. Um, unfortunately, I, 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 did, I don't fit in, in her nice dress, so um, I decided to wear a suit. Um, yeah, she has to help her team in Toronto. Uh, she's um, with our product management team, and so she asked me, uh, Andreas, can you, can you just uh, come along and help out? And I said, yes, sure. Um, just, just let me know the topic, and I will do a presentation. I like to give presentations. And she told me, um, yeah, it's a mobility conference. And I was like, well, um, yeah, we have this, this registration portal thing. But um, today you saw a bunch of cool presentations with awesome products regarding mobility, mobile device management, and stuff like that. So um, at that time, I, ch I wanted to find out, OK, what means, what means mobility? What, what means being mobile? And um, I was sitting in my office, uh, looking at my, my, my bookshelf, and I, I saw a dictionary, a quite old dictionary. It was a dictionary from 1974. And I think you can believe me that I'm a little bit younger than that time. A um, little bit. <laughs> um, and why, why did I pick a, a dictionary from that time? Because if you, if you pick a dictionary from today, if you look for mobile, you will find mobile phones, and maybe you will find some buzzwords like BYOD. I wanted to know what is mobile in a traditional way. And um, I found um, a very simple explanation. Mobile, and this, you see, you see this, this nice old paper, it's awesome, I like old books. Um, and it came up with this. It's, uh, mobile means that something is able to move. Something can move from A to B. That's, that's mobility. Mobility, the definition of mobility from 1974 in the dictionary. Um, but if we think about mobility in a traditional way, um, we just think about the traditional devices. And we, we saw some people on stage talking about these traditional devices. So we are talking about tablets. We are talking about mobile phones. So with mobile phones, we are talking about mobile phones with Wi-Fi, mobile phones with, um, with a dial-in connection or something like that, and maybe laptops. <coughs> That's, that's what, what, what people got in their mind when they talk about mobile and mobility. Um, but that's not it. That there's, there's much more in an, in an enterprise, in an enterprise environment than just laptops and phones and tablets. And some of the, of the speakers today already mentioned some of these, uh, some of these uh, technologies. And um, if, you, if you look at an enterprise, you will find much more stuff. You will, you will find stuff like, like virtual machines. Virtual machines in an enterprise, from a definition point of view, they are mobile devices. Virtual machines are moving from, uh, from one host to another host, maybe from one data center to another data center. Or if you, if you for example, think at a point of sales, a huge number of my customers are retailers. And they have these very cool, funny handhelds, and they are walking around in the, in the shop all day, uh, scanning barcodes, checking prices, and checking the inventory. These are also mobile devices. But also stuff like, like uh, sensors or stuff like, like um, IP cameras. Now you're thinking about, wait a second, this is, this is a mobile conference, and actually you paid for it. <laughs> um, and now this guy is talking about IP cameras. If we, if we think back to the to the description of mobility. Mobility means that something is able to move from A to B. There was not a single hint regarding time. What we think, if we think about mobility, is that something is moving uh, to, to multiple uh, destinations a day. That's true, that's a fact. But if you think about an enterprise, even a, a PC that is located in an office is more or less some kind of mobile device, something that needs to be tracked when you move it, or if it's just new. So the, these, these devices are sometimes very, very hard to, to manage and very hard to track. But there is there's one thing, one single thing they, they have in common. Every single device in an, in an enterprise, or even uh, in, in a cloud environment, or you name it, there's one, one thing they have all in common. And this is an IP address because they need to talk to each other, and they do it with IP. So the, to manage such an environment, we could use, for example, 
we could use a database or some kind of a data source about all the networks, about all the IP addresses in an environment. That would be awesome. That would be a very, very nice, very awesome data source to, to, to handle and to manage. But um, actually, what I, what I, what I found at, at a customer site, and before I moved to Bluecat, I was working as a, as a consultant uh, in this area. And can you, can you imagine who is the market leader or what tool is the market leader in managing enterprise networks? Can you, can you give me a name? Anybody? The market leader? <laughs> the market leader is a spreadsheet. The market leader in network management is a spreadsheet. I was working for, for companies with 10,000 of employees and they are managing their whole environment with a spreadsheet. Sometimes it's even worse. They just manage everything with a console. There's no real documentation. Maybe somewhere in, 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 a, in, in a script there are some comments regarding, uh, I did this because somebody called me and I had to do it, maybe. From time to time, um, you will find some, some very cool databases, homegrown databases, especially in the area of universities and everything that has to do with education. Um, and every time when I, when I see an environment like this, um, I'm taking notes because, yeah, this is a pretty cool, cool feature. We should support this. And then I'm going back to my, to my team in, in, in Toronto and to, to tell them, hey, I, I have seen this cool feature this is something that we should build into our product. Um, and two or three years ago, all these customers were quite fine. I told them about a central database, about networks, IP addresses, tracking uh, mobile devices in an environment, and they were all fine, everything was good. But in the last couple of years, stuff like IPv6, stuff like SDN, and more and more virtualization just piled up. And meanwhile, I, I received a call. Hey Andreas, uh, you remember the presentation you did two years ago? Um, this is something that sounds pretty interesting, meanwhile. Because even universities, they have the cheapest employees ever. They are called students. <laughs> they work completely for free they, because they need some kind of a project to get a degree. Um, so they realize it's, this, is, this is not the way that, that you should go. So what, what we could do, let's just let's, let's think about to squeeze everything together into into one single data source. And this, this single data source could, could just collect everything. Let's think about your, your upcoming or maybe existing IPv6 projects. Let's, let's think about all the virtual machines that are in, in your environment. Let's think about all the tablets that you are using or your uh, colleagues are using. Let's think about the mobile phones. And in addition to this, let's, let's think about the, the different teams that are working with this data. Teams that are maybe distributed around the world. But if you're not a global player, maybe if your, your, um, your teams are just separated in buildings at the same campus, without um, a single data source, it can be quite hard to, to manage an enterprise network. But what we don't want, to, we don't want to, to replace any kind of mobility solution because there are so, cool, so, many, so many cool tools out there this is not our, our business, this is out of our business, but what we could think about is to, to cooperate with such a solution. Because in, an, in a mobile device management database, there are pretty cool details that we can use in a network database. If you would like to maintain a network environment, if you would like to grow a network, if you have to maintain a network environment, maybe you need some details from an MDM solution or you name it. Or maybe let's, let's try it to, to do it the other way around. Maybe we have some details in our database coming from the network that can be useful in an MDM solution. But it's not, not only the connection between this address database and an MDM solution. In addition to this, there is, there is much more in your environment. Just think about your, your CMDBs or your asset management database. Every time when you, when you add a new asset to an environment, it has to do something with IP, and at the end maybe it could be a, a mobile device. So in addition to, up the, to, to the update of your, of your uh, address database, 
would be cool if you update your MDM solution in addition. Or let's think about a, a completely different story. Let's, let's think about human resources. I think this is something that nobody heard today, exactly. Com companies are, are growing like hell. Companies are hiring people like hell, it's awesome. Uh, two weeks ago we had our, our kickoff in Toronto and I met so many people I never seen before. Because companies are growing, they, they are hiring people. But every time when you hire somebody, this guy needs to work on some kind of a device. But the database of human resources and the databases of the IT team are completely separated. So you need some phone calls, you need some tickets and so on. So it, it takes a while to go there. Would be cool if HR hires somebody and is able to trigger tasks in your MDM solution or maybe to trigger uh, documentation in your address database. So this is, this is something that, that, is, that is not not really fictional. This is something that is, that is doable. And Bluecat did it in the past. We try to, to create an, an elastic solution that is able to grow with your company, to move with your company, if, you're, if the focus of your company is maybe changing a little bit. A flexible, central, single pane of glass for everything that has to do with networks and with IP addresses. And all the mobile devices out there, all the, all the cool small handhelds and so on. Everything that, that, that you have in an environment got an IP address. So this is this primary key that we can manage. <coughs> Sorry. So if we, if we, if we just, just try to, to, to tell a story, and that, were, that was what was happening in, the, in, in, in my office when I was thinking about, okay, this is a mobility conference. Yeah, we have some, some things that, that would fit in. But every mobile device is something that you, that you would like to track and sometimes there's nothing that you can install on this machine directly. So we would like to, to give you an idea at our booth, my team is here, to present you how we, can, how we can make such an elastic network, how we can create an environment that is designed for change. So if your company is changing, our environment is able to change with you.